Um, okay, so welcome, welcome back. Welcome back. We're on episode whatever. I have no idea. Yeah, we're beyond caring. Um, so we left with: Do brains evolve to think? And you're saying they don't. So would you expand on that for me, please? All right. Well, the very first neuron, for example, if we go back in evolution, the very first neuron, I believe, was can be identified in a, a, a valve sponge. And a the, valve, a valve sponge, V-A-L-V-E. Yeah. yeah, I believe. Sponge. Yeah. This is something in in the ocean. May well be a bivalve sponge. I mean, I'm I'm not a conchologist. Oh, oh goodness! Um, uh, and, you surprise okay. me. And basically what the very first neuron evolved for was to open and close a mechanism inside it to pass water over a kind of extraction system. Oh, open or closed. Open or Is that closed. right, you say? What, yeah. Opened or closed? Open or closed. One or zero. One or zero. To, to pull water through the system so it can extract nutrients and plankton and things like that. And I don't think I don't think that anybody would argue that that system, when that system evolved, that there was any possibility that that was going to be used to write Hamlet. <laughs> hey, cool! I love it. Is it, am I wrong there? Oh, I, I love that. I love it. Yeah, but isn't that fantastic? But am, just... I, am I wrong though? Am I right, sir? Which makes me think of the end of the thirty-nine steps, where he's going. I'm just saying, am I right, sir? So ask the question again, or say the statement again. This is going to be a key one. So you're saying this valve sponge, yeah. this is, you're, you're talking about beginnings of life here, is that right? I'm talking about, it's not the first life, it's, it's, a, it's a multicellular creature, so it's well evolved, yeah. it's, it's well beyond the initial beginning. So an early form of life, an early life, form of life, is something which essentially opened or closed. That's right. Happens to open or close, and the consequence of that happening to open or close meant that Water or something of liquid form went one route rather than another route. No, no. What it does is it sets up a pressure inside itself, whereby it's. You, we've all done it in the bath, haven't we? We've, we've all done it. We, we? We've all pushed our hands together and squirted water out. I beg your pardon. Oh, sorry. Carry on. Yeah. Um, between between, hands. between oh, yes, our yes, hands. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, do it now, folks. If you're sitting in the bath. Well, we've put our hands under our armpits and made fart noises. I've never done that. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> And we're it's not going to start doing it now, thing. are we? Are we, Louis? It's essentially the same thing. Yes. I can't do it. My arm's too sweaty for that. It won't, it'll, it'll sound like a wet fart. I'll tell you what I can do. That reminds me. God, everything has a reason. You say everything's pointless. Everything's linked together. Right. In previous teaching sessions where um, I have been a little bit playful, usually a computer session with labs, and, and any, if we ever get any of my former students listening to this, they go, yeah, you did do that. It was really bloody annoying. Right. I'd walk around doing this. But, yep, well, hey, well, there you go. And that's with my palms. I say, look, I've yeah. out, got the world's sweatiest palms. They're not sweaty. Right. But... <laughs> but that, that's kind of what I'm talking about. No, I can't. So I did that. So, okay. That, so I, that actually had some purpose. Well, Down they, on the line, they, it could be they, used to illustrate something. That's an illustration are, of life. They are using that kind of sucking in pressure to, to pull through water. There you go. It's annoying you now, sir. Stop. I shall stop. Okay. So that happened to be moving in such a way that created what pressure, it brought water in or out or something, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. That had a consequence. And you're saying down the line, a couple of years later. A couple of years. Yeah, one or, two, one or two. One or two. Oh, how many million he's, are we talking here? He's down the shops complaining about shit. <laughs> I mean, we're talking about, you know, it's what? Three billion years or so. I would so three, three billion years. Like that. Which again, for an individual human, is hard to comprehend, you know, even a billion. Sure, sure. Um, a again, long, word, go on. A, a long time. And the word, this is quite useful in case this does actually have any historical value in this conversation, of course. That's the ego talking. Yeah. But given at the time of recording, we've ju we, we the globe, uh, the US has just had prof say, Professor Donald Trump, President Donald Trump inaugurated. This is true. And that's where the word puts my head, yeah, you know, both in terms of he is a, wow. describes a billionaire. Right. So that helps talk about his wealth and also in yeah. terms of the overall population on the planet. What we're at these days, seven, seven billion? billion? Seven billion, is seven, it? Okay. Seven billion, something like that, yeah. So it's very difficult to kind of get one individual head around what, how big that number is. When we talk about numbers of years, I say, you know, a large number of years then have taken and passed. It, it, yeah. And you've got, yeah, various manifestations of that include man complaining down the shops, person driving a car, person writing Hamlet, 
person writing uh, Birds of a Feather. They're all works of art. We'll agree that. We, so, we, and, we, there's uh, no disagreement uh, there. We, 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 you know. that, certainly, that, that, that organism, the bivalve, whatever, the, the sponge, it, nobody, but if you were an alien, if you landed on the planet, you looked at that, you wouldn't think, oh, that'll be right in Shakespeare in a billion years. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm about to write Shakespeare. Oh, 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 At one point, part of me will do it yeah. in Shakespeare. Why are we speaking Northern accents? <laughs> but but I'm, I'm a rather than a Northern accent of smoking a fag. Oh, well. So, so uh, but well, you'd agree with that one, though, anyway? I understand what you're saying, yes. Well, you'd agree with it, though. What was the question? <laughs> So that, but that, 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 that neuron, when it first evolved in that organism... Yeah, wasn't could, doing it with a, with a view to, at some point, this will all happen in the future. I agree. Okay, we don't, okay. Yes, absolutely. Good, good, good. Yeah, what was your point going to be? Well, I think then, if we look at our brains, and we look at the development of our brains, and we look at brains in other creatures, you know, everybody thinks the brain is a very special or, uh, organ. I mean, how to say, organism or orgasm uh, is a very special organ. I mean, it is a very special organ, but it did not evolve to, you know, with the purpose of being a special organ. And it's no more special than, say, organs of flight, uh, no more special than, say, organs of, you know, teeth, large teeth or large claws or any other way of doing it. Oh, it sounds like a Gruffalo. Oh, he's got a young daughter. Oh, he's got uh, terrible, got terrible tusks and terrible claws and terrible teeth in his terrible Mm -hmm. jaws. Oh, well, Sorry, because I have actually spent time learning bits of it, so I had to oh, use yeah. it in some way. That's useful. Yep. Carry on. I am no, that's very good. So we, we were just talking about how special the brain is, and, and that ultimately, for, from, a, from a historical perspective up to, say, human beings, brains are just, are just an organ of evolution, an organ of biology, that some creatures use their, their, their brains to be successful. Some creatures don't have a brain, and they're still successful. This is an important part. Yeah. You know, yeah, I mean, I, I've just written... They've got right. good jobs. They drive nice cars. Well, I, I, you know, I, I equate it with the crustaceans. Crustaceans have a shell, right? They've got their skeleton is on the outside of their body, or their internal organs are inside it. You know, that's one way of doing it. We have our a skeleton on the inside, and our organs are hanging off it. That's another way of doing it. You know, I, you can't equate one with being better than another. Yeah. It's just a different solution to the problems. It's a different historical happenstance. Yeah. To nature, to the environment, to what happens to be sure. out there. Yeah. So the question was, or the statement was, the brains have not evolved to think. It just so happens among one species, at the very least, as we understand it, because we're members of that species, just about, that we can say that, okay, well, the reason we're having this conversation that reflects things going on in our brains individually and perhaps collectively um, is just the way it's happened for this particular species. We, it, 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 wasn't, it wasn't part of the kind of destiny of a brain. No, not at all. Not at okay. all. So where does again, that take us? And again, you know, I said, I said a few episodes ago, you know, if there's one piece of information that can help us kind of understand that everything we do is pointless and that our, our existence is happenstance and therefore it doesn't matter if we go left or right or up and down, that, that, that again, understanding that our most important, and, and whatever you might believe about what you are, I would assume that you all believe that your brain is where you are situated, that if I said to you, should we cut off your head or cut off your arm, that you would all choose to lose an arm rather than your head, and that whatever you are, your brain is important. And since the brain itself is basically a happenstance, I mean, I would conclude that you're as much of a happenstance. You'd conclude that what's as much of a happenstance? That you are as much of a happenstance, however you want to conceive of yourself. Yeah, I can, I can see that. And that, given, given that you're a happenstance, given that it doesn't matter, nobody set out to, to build you, nobody set out to, to, to make you, that you, your existence is not necessary for the universe. Correct. I, well, that, I understand that. I understand what you're saying, yeah. And that if you're not necessary, it doesn't matter what you do, that you aren't important, that you, you know, except unto yourself and maybe other people, but again, you know, the same is true for them too. And that ultimately, I think anything that you do is pointless, kind of from a judgment perspective, you know. 
Can I? Yes, absolutely. Well, well, the judgment as in a value deciding is it good or bad? Because there's nothing good or bad. That's a uh, projection. Yeah, of... I, I, sure. I mean, I don't believe in good or bad. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, do you believe in life after love? <laughs> um, I could sing it. Uh, yeah, uh, I believe in my. Uh, what is it? Sh the, the do you believe uh, in life after love? Come on, everybody. I'm, I'm Join a, in a, with me. I'm a shoot shoot song myself. Shoot, 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 oh, song. I hate the shoot song. I, I hate a, it with a passion. I'm a when, shoot. I was a student, when I was a student in Liverpool, we had people next door in the house next door right. who would play the shoot shoot song oh, again and again and again and again. And it was horrendous. No, it was, it was like Groundhog Day. So, um, yeah, okay. okay. So, no, I would go, well, if I had to choose a share song, if someone put a gun to my head and say, choose a share song now. Right. We put on this 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 um, turntable. Right. Because I'm back in the head of vinyl at the moment, having not bought any for a long, long time. Right. If so, put it on. You've got shoot, shoot. You've got life after love. Or right. you've got if I could turn back time. Well, I, I, choose one of them. I, is this an idea for a game show? Are we not? Game show? Are we not Sunny and Share? Is it not? I got you, babe. Oh, I got you, babe. I Sunny got you, babe. Oh, there you go. I, I, got, I got you. I got you. It should fade I got out, you, actually. Babe. I got you, babe. Um, by the way, the, 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 this is us singing it. We haven't licensed the song. <laughs> yeah, okay. This is where Rachel would go. Okay, uh, is that your clearance for that? That's going to cost yeah. you like thirty quid. Oh, you haven't yeah. that now. No, that's in a right. that hasn't got a good blanket license. Yeah. Uh, so okay, edit that bit out. I'm checking the time. I need to go and do something. Well, actually, bizarre is more important than this. Oh my god! <laughs> Shock really? Horror. Is there something more important than this? There Shock is. Shock horror. According to this expression of the organism, right, um, which relates to genes and expressions of bloody blah, blah, because it's it's part of my self-replicating gene has created something that we choose to call Connie. Right. Yes. Um, and she will be leaving, or she won't be leaving. She'll be waiting to be collected from her nursery in the next few minutes. So, I think it's part of my biology that has been drawn there to say. I'll go and do that, and I will catch up with you all very, very soon. Well, it was lovely having a chat to you, and we will see you again in the next thrilling instalment of The Existential Files. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.